Hey there and thanks for watching my PMDG 747 tutorial. We will be flying from London Heathrow International Airport to JFK. Um, we're gonna go over all the normal procedures and uh, the way to configure the FMC for a full flight. Okay, so you wanna go to open the overhead panel, turn the battery on, standby power to auto, Bus tie switches to auto, gen cont switches to on, hydraulic demand pump for to aux, engine hydraulic pump selector is on, turn the external power on, electrical engine control must be to norm, turn right and left utilities on, Nav wing and logo lights should be turned on. Arm the emergency lights. All three nav switches, IRS switches to nav then align. Open the FMC, click on FMC. And now here are the basics of how to use the FMC. What you type in, either numbers or letters, will appear in what we call the scratch pad to copy what's in the scratch pad into one of the lines just click on the button next to the line you want your information copied into what we want to do first with the FMC is to tell him where we are so we're going to enter our reference airport which is EGLL we also want to give it our geographical coordinates so just copy the GPS position line by clicking on that line and you'll see the numbers appear in the scratch pad and just click on the IRS position line to set the IRS position. You can now close the FMC. Fuel pumps must be off. Fuel crossfeeds to on window heat enable yaw damper is on start the APU takes a while to power up Forgot to put the IRS switches back to nav. That's uh, when you close the FMC. Now click on the APU generator switches 1 and 2. Passenger temperature, flight deck temperature to auto. Trim air on. Upper and lower recirculation fans on. Gasper on. Packs 1, 2, and 3 to norm. Right and left isolation on. APU bleed air on. Now open the FMC. Click on the route line. Enter Origin Airport. EGLL. Click on the origin line. Type in KJFK. And click on the destination line. Now click on activate, per finish, click on the ZFW line, enter reserves for about 10, cost index 100, it's not simulated so but whatever you want, cruising altitude 34,000 feet, and click on thrust limit, and take off. We're now going to enter our takeoff flap configuration, just 20 degrees, click on V1, V rotate, and V2 to select those speeds. Click on the line below 
V2 to get the trim configuration on the departure arrival page we're going to select our SID our departure procedure from uh, EGLL we're going to choose SID B PK5J departing runway 09 or right go back to the departure arrival page choose our star our arrival procedure I'm gonna select PLY double M4 and we'll be landing runway 22 left now execute that go to the legs page that's our flight plan if you get route discontinuity lines just um, click on the delete button and not not clear but delete and click on the light the line you want to delete so we're not entering any other waypoint since uh, our only waypoint was included in the PLY double M4 star But to enter a new waypoint, just type in your waypoint and include it in your um, in your flight plan. Now execute that. Now we're gonna select our uh, takeoff speeds again. They were deleted. I don't know why. Go back to legs. Yeah, so you can be over 250 knots if you're below 10,000 feet. So we're going to correct that. To do so, uh, enter the speed you want to be at and the altitude you want to be at. Typing in your speed slash your altitude and line click it next to the waypoint you want to at at those speeds and altitude. So let's enter two four five slash three thousand A so that for the T O seven four J waypoint and the others, which means that the A means that you're gonna be at that altitude um, when you get to that waypoint, I think. To do that for all the waypoints that are incorrect. You can have a higher speed than two nine or one knots at cruising altitude. For some reason it won't allow me to enter flight level three four zero so I'll just enter flight levels 304 but no big deal and we want to lower our speeds on final approach 170 knots execute that and close the FMC 